The Ben, again, a disappointing defeat today, but on the reality, it's another good performance against a real top Super League side, but just how do you assess that performance today? Uh, another good game, really, from us. We're going to we're gonna be positive through this uh, period for qualifiers. Um, but as a, as a performance, we're playing at a different intensity from Championship. And uh, to, as, a, as a thing in Championship, it's, it's not as not as a fast as game, but we're coming into this playing against a professional team and I think we're bringing something, we're taking something into, into his games. But we're not, we were in a bit of a negative cycle most of that uh, first half, but just not nailing game plan and stuff like that went against us. But um, when we got into like a bit of a positive cycle, we, we were really we were like on a bit of a good flow at game, but it just it just seemed to, didn't, didn't seem to stick to us today. But we've said we're going to play in this qualifiers. We're, we're going to, we're here once, you know, we've got we've got our chances armed, so you know, it, I, there's a lot of positives in that game. I mean, that ending were a, were a bad ending. You know, we, we spoke about that. We'll probably beat ourselves up about that for the next few days. But um, but yeah, it's a positive positive change in them still. We'll just talk about that ending. I mean, the, the hooter had gone. Was it just a, a chance of? Oh well, the, the hooter's gone. Was it just taking your eye off the ball, or yeah, was it just a little it's bit? It's a big of lapse, and we can't be doing this against teams like this. We did it against uh, Witness last three minutes of the game, and we. We just totally switched off and went from one end of the field to the other. And it, it was the same then, switched off. Lads are thinking getting back in change room, resting up. But we got punished. So you could, and today you could have took 10 points off that scoreline today. It should have been a lot um, closer margin. But it's just them, them sort of lapses that uh, against good teams, they'll punish you. In Championship, you might be able to get away with it. But at, at this, it is like what happened last week with Witness with two, two quick tries at, at last three minutes of the game. Today, like a few lapses on his on his goal line, and it's just cost us. It's cost us points. But if if that ball is going to stick for us, I think we're going to be a very dangerous team, and you're going to see a different result in, in some against some of these Super League clubs. I mean, how much confidence have you gained from these last two games? Obviously, I mean, Hull KR at home, they've only been beaten twice this year, yeah. and you really have given them a good run. How much confidence does that give you and Richard as a coach? Massive. Once we got the negatives out of the way and changed them, we were saying an atmosphere, an old Hull KR team with a crowd as. As fierce as they are, and we've 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 come here, and we I think we did play. I think we did we, we did challenge them. Uh, so there's a lot of positives to take out. It's just that ball sticking. Well, we've said we're going to play, so if if it's going to go to ground, we've got to take it because it's defensive good enough. We, we finished second in championship defensively, um, so we know we've got trust in us. D. It's just we want we want to play and we want the ball to stick. I think you could tell the difference between a full-time professional team skill-wise to a championship team. The skills just a bit. You know, below where it should be, but it's something we need to work on. Something we're going to play, and uh, something we're going to we're going to work on this week for for Sheffield. We just can't drop that intensity going into the, this Sheffield game. Go, coming up against Sheffield now, uh, away from home, going to the keep moat. You've yeah. got mixed sort of feelings about that ground, in my opinion. You lost there against Sheffield, arguably probably the worst performance of the yeah. season. Is it time to put that right against those guys? Yeah, we've got to rewrite as wrongs there because that were pro yeah definitely. We looked at the stats, uh, the stats were all low in that game. Summer summer performances. I think it was my worst game of the season. Uh, I, I, probably a few other lads as well. They had they'll put their hand up and say it were bad. But as a team, we were shocking that day. Uh, we'd love to rewrite as wrongs and just uh, go there and uh, put a really good performance in. We just can't drop that intensity. I think if we dip toe and think, just release that valve a bit and say, look, it's a championship team, let's dip back down into the championship uh, level. We, we're hoping for a, 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 a Super League referee to play at that sort of intensity to allow us to play. And we, uh, I think we'll, I think we should put a good performance in. It's a positive change room as well. We just, got, we just can't dip that toe next week. We've just got to push on, fix up what we did uh, today and really, really put, rewrite us wrong from last time because it was a shocking performance. We can't be doing that again. And finally, a word on the travelling support today. They, they, were, they were magnificent again, it, always in full voice. Just how important have they played today, coming quite a long way from Halifax to Hull, haven't they? Yeah, it's good, it's good honestly. It, we, 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 should, like, we, should, we should be applauding them, really, because um, last year it were, a, it were a, like a desert, you know what I mean? It were empty, there were no atmosphere from Halifax fans. It were, they were negative towards us. And I think we've got, the, got a bit of a, an atmosphere going with, with Pats fans. And we can, we can hear it and we're buzzing off it. And, even little stuff that we do, we, we can see tries they still up for us. It's good, and I hope they keep it as well because it is it's spurring us on at the moment. And uh, we do. We, one of our goals is to entertain our fans, so it, it, we just we just want them to be backing us every week. I know we might do some dumb stuff, but we want them to be behind us all the time and not in that negative sort of process where we're, we're going to be getting like uh, edged down and they're going to be going. We just want them to be positive towards us because. We're going out. We want we want to uh, shock some teams, so it's good that they're behind us.